What is a sacrament? A sacrament is a Christian physical act that brings about a spiritual change, namely greater spiritual holiness. Indeed, the increased spiritual sanctity is indicated and brought about by the physical act. There are seven sacraments, baptism, confirmation, the Eucharist, penance, the anointing of the sick, holy orders, and marriage. God is spirit, and loving friendship with him is primarily spiritual. But since we human beings are both spiritual and physical, God uses the material for spiritual ends. Through material things and actions, God restores us to friendship with himself and strengthens that friendship. The most important way that God has used the material is the incarnation of Jesus Christ. The second person of the Trinity, the Son of the Father, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The incarnate Lord, Jesus, offers us salvation through his very flesh and blood and through the actions that he did with that flesh and blood. So the incarnation is the most fantastic gift to us human beings. But how could he communicate his salvation to us in all times and places? How could he do that if he stayed walking the earth? And how could he do that if he ascended into heaven? As in fact he did on Ascension Thursday. Jesus used a couple of means. He sent us the Holy Spirit for the enlivening of his one holy Catholic and apostolic church. The Holy Spirit communicates grace to us and unites us with God the Father and Jesus. In this grace, we come into true, saving, spiritual contact with Christ through the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. So Christ's immaterial grace is a means of spiritual contact. Jesus also uses physical means to reach us. The written scriptures of the church communicate God's spiritual word but they do so using sounds and signs and structures rooted in our concrete human physical experience. Hebrew words and Greek words and sentences that sound very different than English or Spanish or French. We engage with scripture physically, for instance, with our eyes and reading or our ears and listening. Another physical means is the members of Christ's church, the clergy and laity that extend Christ's salvation to each other and to non-Christians. Christ speaks and heals through Christians as his instruments. And there are the seven Christian sacraments. These physical actions extend Christ's presence and activity from the first century to our own day, and from Israel to the entire world. The sacraments keep us physically and spiritually connected with Christ, with Christ as he lives now in heaven, and with Christ as he lived and acted in Israel 2,000 years ago. The sacraments involve both the material and the spiritual in a way that mirrors who Christ is, in a way that reproduces the incarnational pattern. Jesus is both divine and human. He is thus spiritual and physical. And in his humanity, he possesses a human soul, thus spiritual, and a human body, thus physical. In a parallel fashion, the sacraments have a spiritual aspect, the divine power at work in them. And they have a physical aspect, the material gestures and words that the human sacramental minister performs. The sacraments represent something of Christ's historical acts. Christ ordered the apostles at the Last Supper, do this in memory of me. That command applies to the Eucharist, the sacrament that Christ instituted at the Last Supper. That command also applies to all of the sacraments. We do these sacraments in memory of Jesus. All of the sacraments hearken back to Jesus. Indeed, they signify Christ's historical salvific work, primarily his passion and secondarily his resurrection. The sacraments also indicate and bring about the present grace and virtues that Christ now wants to give, the grace and virtues that Christ indeed does give. And the sacraments indicate and bring about the future glory promised to Christ's good and faithful servants. The sacraments lead us to heaven Indeed, they anticipate that good life, the godly life, the eternal life, where we will be perfectly holy and happy in the unending worship of God and in the company of the saints.
For readings, podcasts, and more videos like this, go to Aquinas101.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for one of our free video courses on Aquinas. And don't forget to like and share with your friends, because it matters what you think.